Hello and welcome to another edition of Rip and Pull. In this episode, we're going to open a box of 2006 Upper Decks Rookie Debut Football. Now here's what the box looks like. Printed on the front of the box, it says to look for random hot boxes, which contain signature, jersey, or serial number parallels in each pack. This product was released on September 19, 2006. There are 100 cards in the regular set. There are serial numbered Spectrum Parallel cards to the regular set. And there are serial numbered Gold Parallel cards to the regular set. There are 100 Rookie Debut cards. There are 100 serial numbered Rookie Debut Spectrum Parallel cards. There is also a serial numbered Gold Parallel version of the 100 Rookie Debut cards. There are 60 different Rookie Debut Signature cards. There are 31 Rookie Jersey Collection Cards. There are 21 Star Materials Cards, and there is also a serial numbered parallel version of those cards. There are 21 Future Star Material Cards, and there is a serial numbered parallel version of those same 21 Future Star Materials Cards. There are 42 Game Data Debut Cards, and there are 40 Serial Numbered Game Data Debut Autograph Parallel Cards. There are 100 Debut Draft Linked Cards. There are 46 Debut Draft Linked Autograph Parallel Cards. There are 100 Rookie Photo Shoot Flashback Cards, and there's a Serial Numbered Gold version of the 100 Rookie Photo Shoot Flashback Cards. So let's go ahead and rip and pull. Now, as you know, Upper Deck has created some what they call hot boxes and they have a short print or memorabilia card in every pack. So let's see how lucky we are. Okay, right on the top, there's an ad card for coming soon 2006 Sweet Spot, November 2006. So go ahead and look at that. And here's what the packs look like. There are six cards per pack and 28 packs per box. So let's go ahead and open some packs now. Trusty blue scissors. And here we go. Now again, these are full bleed cards. Nice silver foil on the front. And right off the top, we got a Ben Roethlisberger rookie debut card. It's a photo shoot flashback card. Go ahead and take a look at that. And in the same pack we got an Ethan Kilmer rookie card. I'll let you look at that one. Okay, so we got Two nice cards out of one pack. I think there's going to be a lot of those rookie cards considering there's a hundred and there's also a hundred base cards. So let's see what we get. And we got an Ingle Martin rookie card. Take a look at that one. Go ahead and open a, a few of these packs so we can get a head start on these. These are thin packs, not a lot of cards in each one, but you do get a lot of packs in a box. Okay. So in this one, we got an upper deck photo shoot flashback, and this is Corey Simon. Take a look at that one. And in this pack, we got a rookie card of Ben Obomanu. Take a look at that one.
Right. Let's see what else we got. All right. In this pack, we got a signature card of Reggie McNeil. And I'll let you look at that one. Nice autograph card. And also in the same pack, we got Charles Spencer's rookie card. Pretty nice. And we got Brody Croyle's rookie card. And we got another photo shoot flashback to KO Spikes. And look at that. And Jeff King's rookie card. This pack has Brett Elliott's rookie card. And in this pack, we got a game day to debut card of Keyshawn Johnson. Let's go ahead and look at that one. And Willie Reed's rookie card. Well, they live up to their promise here. You get a lot of rookie cards. Which makes it fun. Because there's a lot of rookie card collectors out there. And this might be a, a good product for them. Considering, you know, you're going to get a lot of the rookie talent cards for this year you know, whether they pan out or not it just makes it important if you're like a certain player collector or team collector and we got Kelly Jennings rookie card Now if you noticed on that Kelly Jennings rookie card, I believe it's the Spectrum version because it's serial numbered 185 out of 325 and it has a special holographic foil on the front. So yeah, that's a nice, it's a nice rookie card. And we got Barrick Neely's rookie card. You know that uh, Spectrum rookie kind of stands out because of that holographic foil on the front. And we got another game data debut Larry Johnson card. And we got Marcus Hagen's rookie card. Our stack of inserts is piling up. Okay, in this pack we got a a photo shoot flashback of uh, Lavernius Coles. Take a look at that one. And we also got Chris Hannon rookie card.
All right, so we got several things in this pack. See, first of all, we got a debut draft link card of Marshall Falk and Donovan McNabb. Take a look at that one. We also got a Roger McIntosh rookie card. And we also got a, I guess it's a sales fold-out of collectibles that are available from Upper Deck. And on one side it has uh, miniature scale model cars. And then the other side has autograph memorabilia. So take a look at that. That was pretty interesting. I've never seen that kind of a sales brochure in a pack before. Right. Now this pack seems kind of thick. Well, there's the reason. We got a Future Star Materials Omar Jacobs jersey card. So check that out. Nice jersey card. And we also got a Joe Klopfenstein rookie card. Now let's see what we get in here. Uh, Mercedes Lewis rookie card. Okay, so let's go on to another stack of packs here. So far we've pulled a lot of cards. Um, inserts is what I mean. and. We've got an autograph and a jersey, which is nice. And a numbered rookie card. Let's see what else we can pull. One of these packs seemed kind of thick. So let's see if my fingers are accurate in measuring these packs. All right. And in this one, we got another rookie photo shoot flashback. And this is Byron Leftwich. Check that out. And we got a Ryan Cook rookie card. And in this one, we got a Jeremy Trueblood rookie. And in this pack, we got a game day to debut of Kyle Orton. So look at that. And we also got in the same pack Nick Mangold's rookie card. Let's see what else we can pull here. In this pack, Halati Nagata rookie card. And a Tony Scheffler rookie card. Now I think this is the thick pack coming up, the one that I felt kind of thick. Let's see if I'm right. Yeah, sure enough. It's a Mark Brunel jersey card. So look at that.
And we got an Antonio Cromartie rookie card. And in this pack we got an Adam Jennings rookie card. And now we're down to our last stack of cards. So far two jerseys and an autograph. Pretty nice. You know, when you get to actually handle every pack in the box, you can kind of feel the difference. And in this pack, we got another game data debut card. This one's Ladanian Tomlinson. And in the same pack, we got a Benny Brazel card. He's a rookie, of course. And we got a rookie of David Thomas. This pack has a, another photo shoot flashback, and this is of Roy Williams. So take a look at that one. And we got a rookie card of John McCargo. And we got a rookie of Tamba Holly. And a rookie of TJ Williams. Here is another rookie photo shoot flashback card, and this is Heinz Ward. And in the same pack, we got a Matt Baker rookie card. All right, we're down to our last pack. And we got a rookie card from Travis Lule. Okay, and that's it. So it looks like we got about one rookie card per pack, a little more because that one numbered version of that rookie card was in addition to the regular rookie card. So there's 28, at least 28 regular rookie cards that we pulled. In addition to the two jersey cards, the autograph card, and some of those other insert cards, turned out to be a pretty good box. I mean, we got a lot of product and a lot of things to show you. So why don't you go ahead and look at these cards and after we're done, uh, you come back and we'll sign off.
really enjoyed opening this box with you. And I want to thank all the viewers for joining me again in this episode of Rip and Pull. People like Keith Hockler from Long Island. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you supporting the show, sending me your comments and your emails and your suggestions. I try to fill your suggestions as best as I can, but as you could guess, I get a lot of suggestions for different types of cards to open and different things to do. So I'm trying. Um, I pick out what I think most people would probably want to see and I go with that. So just have patience. Someday you'll probably get to see your favorite product open on the show. So again, thanks to everybody and I'll see you again on the next episode of Ribbon Pull.